Hey, good morning, Bella. Come on, let's go. Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning, people. She don't want to be in the... There you go. Doing her stretches. Let's go check on Loki. My son's dog. I, uh... I'm, uh... He, he's... Staying with me for the time being, and... He thought he was gonna try to... I don't know, outrun the, uh... Mail carrier. And, uh... I guess... He zigged when she zagged, or they both zagged, or whatever, but it caught his paw. So, we're on the mend. He is doing so much better. Hi, Poppy. Hi. Hi. We're keeping it wrapped up and keeping it clean, and he can't go up and down the stairs yet for to go actually outside, so I went and... Uh, got him some at first i got some puppy pads but obviously as you can see he's not necessarily a, a puppy puppy um but i got him that wire cage uh same as like what lou has over here i chose to get it um he had a one of the pet taxis but uh I couldn't see what was going on because after the accident, he just, I mean, he ran to the house and he ran into the house and then ran straight into his kennel and I couldn't see what was going on. I couldn't assess the situation or anything. So we went and got that uh, cage right there, which has been so, so handy. I, uh, and it's, it's big enough to where he can get in and turn around and, you know, uh, be more comfy and and I can see him and uh, we've been getting our our hair brushed every day I figure that um he's getting up and down I mean not he's not applying pressure onto that leg as of yet but with each uh passing day he's getting stronger I changed his bandage last night and as you can see he's already started tugging on the new bandage but I've been keeping his area clean. I went and I purchased. Let me get him turned around here. Since the puppy pads were way too too small, and uh, so I went ahead and got some of these. Picked these up at the uh, dollar store. Got twenty two X large, uh, yeah, two X large um, pads and continent pads, which. I've already gone through over half of them, but I've been keeping him fresh water. He, I do feed him. I just don't keep the food bowl down in here. I do keep his water, his fresh water in there um, to where he can get to it. And, and if he don't crawl or walk over to it or whatever, you know, if he don't manage to get over there, I come in and uh, which I'm in here with him all the time anyway. But uh, I'll I'll take the bowl over to him. I, I'm afraid he's going to try to get lazy, <laughs> getting pampered too much, and uh, and uh, wanting to keep it that way. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. See, uh oh, uh, there you go. But I've been I've been brushing him, and because I figure, uh, you want a drink? You need a drink? You gonna come here? You gonna come here to Granny? Come to Granny. Come to Granny. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can move. Here. And drink. Yeah. See, this is what I've been doing. <laughs> With his food and his water. Just, uh, especially his water. I want to make sure he, uh, stays hydrated really well. And, but, um, he, see, he wants to go outside. I have the front door open the where he, uh, Get some fresh air and, you know, fresh air never hurt anybody. Did it, buddy? No, fresh air never hurt anybody, did it? Yeah, he, he's kind of shy with the camera, too. <laughs> um, But I kind of did a makeshift uh, thing here. I have a little piece of plywood that's cut down that I was using for something or other. But I have it kind of, I have 
my new heater I got for Christmas over here. Um, and then my stack of books that has to find a home soon. But I have that plywood in there. See, he's up. Look at you go, buddy. Look at you go. Let's look and see. He might be putting a little bit of... Um... Yeah? Are you putting any pressure on that foot? I'm afraid, I'm afraid because his paw, um, like almost to his, what I want to say, his knuckle, um, I don't know if it got ran over or I, I don't know. I wasn't outside when it happened. Um, but it, it was like, oh God, we wasn't really sure if we were going to be able to save his foot or not. But, but, um, whenever I took off the bandages last night, it's a slow process because um, I don't want to hurt him. I don't want to scare him. You know, he's been traumatized enough. Poor guy. Here, Granny, straighten this all up. I have one of my rugs that I got from Five Below underneath here um, just to try to save my wood floor. <laughs> he, It's not wet. And this is where we brushed him. I brushed him out a while ago. But I've been brushing him because I was thinking, you know, if he had any tender spots down here, he would let me know. I mean, I'm not like, here, I'll show you what I'm doing. He loves it. But I just take the little brush, ready brush, and then I just, I just place it on him, you know, just, and I'm not bearing down um, that way, you know, if, if I come to a spot that... You know, it's going to be tender. He's going to let me know. You know, he's going to. And all, so far, all is good. Um, I brushed him all around on both back hips and down both legs. Well, you know, obviously as much as I could there. But, um, yeah, he's doing really good. And um, I'm so happy. Lulu. Hey, Lulu Bell. Lulu. What are you doing? Is that your friend? Oh. See, she don't want anything to do with the uh, camera. She knows what I'm doing. So she's trying to <laughs> get off my feet right now. Are you getting mama? Are you trying to get mama? Whoa, slippery. Yeah, I have to. Uh, I, I did buy um, a soft muzzle for Loki just in case. This is my, my, my setup right here. This is my, my area that I, I keep everything as clean as I possibly can. Uh, I've been cleaning my floor with, uh, and his, his room actually with this disinfectant. That's why there's no, uh, pads in there right now. Cause I just got finished, uh, cleaning it out, um, from, you know, his, the nighttime from his nighttime. Well, it fell in there. There was something in there. Oh, the rag. Okay. And I've been brushing him out with a little wire comb. Real easy. But here's the soft muzzle I got for him. Um, just, you know, for his and my protection, you know. Um, Bella, he can't play. No, he can't play right now. He's, he has a boo-boo. Go on. Go sit down. I know. You brought your toy and everything. Bless her heart. She don't understand. They're buddies. <laughs> They're buddies. And he's been so good. He's been such a good boy. I've been trying hard. I mean, so hard. Um, But I got him the soft muzzle for, for you know, to... Because... I mean, I have to clean this, you know, I have to clean it and it's an open wound. I mean, it's, I don't know if maybe the paw got run over and it bursted or I don't know. I'm not going to get that far into it because yeah, it's a, probably a sensitive, you know, whatever. But, um, I got the soft muzzle for him and I both, you know, I didn't want to, uh, I don't want to get bit first of all. And, um, puppy, I'm going to move your water so you don't lay over in it. Ugh. All right. But, um, 
Let me set this over here now. You keep moving around on me, buddy. Look, you can't have your butt. You can't have your butt in your water. Lou, what are you doing? You coming over to the back side? But I have I have this area here of his where she can't get to him and he can't get out. So, and they can still, you know, rub noses. You know, they're it's not like they can't get to each other if they absolutely didn't want to. Or you know what I mean? But um they both been very good. Anyhow, soft muzzle, which uh is not really necessary, but um when working with him, you know, you never can tell. You know, a wounded animal, just like, I mean, they hurt just like we do, I assume. But I've been, um, after I get him brushed out, I have this wags and wiggles since he's in here and, um, you know, doing his thing since he can't go outside. Um, he's not laying in it, you know. I, I'm in here all the time. I'm not, I've not left him at all because, you know, I'm trying to do my best for the guy. Because he's my poppy. He's my little boy, huh? He's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. Yes, and yes. Yeah, but I gave him uh, just one CBD this morning, so he's, he's uh, relaxed. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I use this. I picked this up at Five Below over in Popper Bluff. It's been a while back. Lulu don't like the spray. Um, I guess the sound of the spray coming, I, I don't know, she, it freaks her out. Anyway, <laughs> but, uh, and it's summer strawberry scent, sulfate free, uh, paraben free canine formula. But I've been using that for like, you know, just to spray on his pads and, and whenever I get him brushed out, I, I spray this on him. And even sometimes before I brush him, I'll spray it on him that way. Cause he's very, his hair, I swear, uh, if I were to gather it all up, I guarantee you, I'd probably, uh, spin up some yarn out of his hair. <laughs> it's, it's so thick and long and, uh, he's so, he's so pretty. He's such a pretty dog. And to clean it, I've just been using my Bosch and Law uh, Renew, um, uh, the, my solution, you know, my saline solution. And it's been doing great. And then I picked him up some of this here, this wound care, which, again, I think is, is doing the trick. Um, cause his, his, it looked so much better last night. Um, and I, I do also have some of this. I put a little bit of this on there last night. I did not use this the first time because it was, the wound was so open that I didn't want to hurt him. And I'm, I was pretty sure that this would probably make him go berserk. But anyway, um, yeah. And just some uh, children pain relief just a little bit you know i i put a little bit on just a little corner piece of bread or something and just just to give him some just some sort of relief and he's doing amazing aren't you buddy you're doing so good hi let's get down here and talk to you hi loki boy hi little lulu bell hello babies Oh, mommy's babies. Hey, 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 you're getting too excited. Bella, Bella. Sorry, guys, for yelling, but she's she gets hopping, hopping around. Get back. Hang on. Pause. Nope, pause. Oh, pause. <laughs> I can't get it paused. Get back. Sorry, I don't smack at her. Oh, come on. I don't know what's going on with this this phone but you better jump back girl she gets, <laughs> she's just getting excited come here Bella Woo -wee. see she just wants to play and he's feeling better no get back and I just don't want him to get overstimulated because I don't want his 
his paw to burst back open. And it's time for me to take her out. Here, Lulu, you wanna go outside and go play? You wanna go outside with mommy and go play? Go outside? Let's go outside. You Loki can't play with toy right now, baby. I'm sorry, guys. Whew, that scared me. I didn't I didn't well this here is not I mean his little thing that I have up here is not, you know, it's just kind of there for, you know, just as a barrier. It's it's not uh you know anything <laughs> as you can see. I mean I have it held up. But uh, I'm going to have to figure out how to, I don't know, do something else. I need a um, fencing if we wasn't in my house. <laughs> but that's really kind of what I need, uh, a large baby gate of sort. But uh, I don't know. This will work. This will work. He'll be right as rain soon. And uh, back on the mend. Well, he is on the mend, but yeah. If we can keep little Miss Sassy Britches here. Yes. Go on. <laughs> Sassy Britches. Yeah, excuse my floor over here. This is the new floor here. And then over here, obviously, is the old floor. But we have Lulu over here. And I have um, just stuff on that wall that I have to get off. I'm going to get rid of the entertainment center and... Yeah, I just have to make room. But, uh, and then we'll get the rest of the floor done. But we just have right here at the, at the front door. And then right there under Lou's bed. Right there where that carpet part is. Um, left to go. And then at the back side of the door. The entryway. Alright, let's, let's, uh, take Lulu outside real quick. And, and, uh, you wanna go play? You wanna go outside for a minute? You want to go outside for a minute? I just don't want... He he kind of growled at her yesterday or day before. So, I don't want him, you know... <sighs> yeah, I don't want that. I don't, I don't want them to be ugly to each other. Because we're friends. Huh, puppies? We friends. Get your toy, Lou. Let's go outside. Let's go outside. Outside. Let's go. Let's go. We're sissy. Ah, oh, see? That's the magic word with that dog. Sissy. Go see where Sissy is. Go on, I'll get my shoes on. I'll go outside. There we go. Alright, we'll take a stroll outside. I've been trying to, um... Okay, Loki boy. Granny be back in just a minute. He'll probably start barking, which is a good thing because, um... He didn't talk, bark, whine, cry, nothing. Um... For like, what, two, three days? Three days? Come on, bud. Let's go. Now, I can't see anything, guys. And excuse the mess out here. I have been um, going through stuff and and recycling and moving stuff around and, you know, all that fancy cleanup job that, you know, we all go through. You know, it's uh, a process, <laughs> as always. All right, Bella. Oh, you didn't get your toy? Why didn't you get your toy? This video is just for the pups. <laughs> Come on, baby. But I, uh, this mess out here, this picnic table, trying to get all this crap cleaned up, and, and, uh, which is coming along. I was kind of scared of it because of snakes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. But I got all of this up down here cleaned up. David helped me, you know, with the weed eater and, and stuff. I can't get it started. And this tree bush thing, I don't even know what it was. But it, the birds, um, it had little, like, white flowers on it that attracted nothing but these horrible bugs. And, um... I didn't like it. It had little um, berries on it, but, but the birds never had anything to do with it. So I was like, okay, that's not a good sign. If the birds are not eating the berries or having anything to do with it, the tree, you know, is no good. So uh, we cut all of the growth off of it, saved the branches. So I hung up all of my little... Um, 
little wind chimes that I, I have uh, they they require some work um, <laughs> they they need maintained but uh I like this one I don't know if you can see that because can you no there it is <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> the sun is bright and it's shining on my on my uh, screen. A friend of mine give that to me. Isn't that pretty? Dragonfly in the center. I love it. Oh, there's some birds up there. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. I know I haven't uploaded a video in a while. Um, life has just been hectic, as always. Um... Right here is been cleaned out from under the tree. Even my little Daisy May dog, my little uh, Chihuahua, she's buried right here. Over here, see if I if I looked, if I can see, I need a some side of, sort of a screen, a sun screen <laughs> in order to see. But my Daisy May is buried right here. She always always laid there. She was my 16-year-old uh, Chihuahua. Had her since she was just a teeny, teeny, tiny puppy. And now we got us a... Uh, a pity. <laughs> but I wouldn't trade her for nothing. Lulu. Lulu, where's your toy? Where's your toy? Where's your toys? Huh? Let's go find a toy. Can you find a toy? Huh? Can you find a toy? This is where um, makeshift shelter for Loki from last summer. We, like I said, we um, got him unexpectedly. I wasn't prepared. Um, so, yeah, I couldn't keep him inside the whole time because Lulu, you know, it wasn't. Um, I'm out here in my PJs and here comes somebody. Be still, Lou. <laughs> it's okay. Here's my flower bed. And uh, I put this fence up around it. Another friend gave me this fence, <laughs> which I am so thankful for. Because um, it has saved, it saved my flower bed somewhat from Loki last year. Uh, I have some flags in there. And some little doodads, but I have to, I have to get in there and finish what cleanup he started. I don't know. You probably didn't see. Sh I almost said a dirty word. You didn't see diddly squat there, did you? I had it all messed up. But walking on around, I do have to. Just, I have to get on this as soon as possible before you know anything does take it over. And uh, but I still have to. I flipped all this over because. Um, we had some really wet weather and so I just wanted to make sure everything got dried out well, you know, very good, you know, anyway, and plus I want all this out. I want it gone. I can't, I can't, anyway, <laughs> I just can't. Here is my mimosa tree. She is still going strong. Uh, as far as I know, she hasn't shown any, uh, greenery yet, but it's still a little bit early for her. But underneath, I have some naked ladies. Lulu, I'm afraid she's going to go in and terrorize him. I think I've lost her. Oh, no, she's over by the camper. I see her butt. You see her butt right there. Ooh. Where are you going? Anyway, I have some naked ladies. <clears throat> well, the... Uh, Flags for the neck of ladies, I guess you could say, right there. And then I had one escape the bundle up here at the tree. And it's down here in the yard. So I just put this little frog down here to mark its spot. That way uh, I won't run over it with the lawnmower. Which I have started mowing. Um, well, I wasn't really sure if uh, I could get my lawnmower started. So I was out here one day, and, or I was sitting on the porch, and I was like, well... I was looking at the mower, and I was like, well, I'm going to just check to see if I can do this. And that sucker, I just pumped it up twice. Uh, let me see. 
did the prime like three times and it started right up lickety split which i was so happy um because that's hard for me to do <laughs> them you know but yeah i did it and then uh, a friend of mine he uh, came over and did his ride and mower for me and i fixed me up a little area here because my swing unfortunately the seam on the back of the seat that holds the fabric the seam came um off on like a quarter of it or three quarters of the way anyway um so i have to uh get some upholstery thread or something um and sew that back up and plus i need cushions for it as well but in the meantime i'm still using this little shade thing and put me a couple chairs under there there's my turtle he needs a, a scrubbing and a, a new paint job but then i have my little toadstool stool hey lou come here baby come here baby come here come here bella get on over here get on over here baby what you doing what you doing what are you doing Hey, hey, here's your toy. Lulu, look, Mama found your toy. Oh, oh, you're not going to let me have it? Oh, no. You're not going to let me have it? Not a chance, Mom. Yeah, I'll give that up or she'll be shaking us all over the place. Oh, look at what I found. Have you all been mushroom hunting? Have you found anything yet? I found mine. <laughs> uh you find a mushroom, Lou? Oh, don't be eating the grass. I don't need you sick. Go on, baby. And then this toad garden, so sad, bit the dust. We've we've had a bit of wind, um, and my whiskey barrel just got. I mean, the swing. It, it's heavy duty the swing is that frame and everything but that wind just picked that sucker up and just moved it like three foot and then flipped it right over onto the garden just busting it so whenever the flags and everything started coming out and oh look at this too look at this this is kind of cool there's a different leaf in there right here there's just one one single leaf like that in that pot see now quit eating their grass um but there's nothing else that's it just that leaf all the others are the daffodils but i took some of the um my stepping stones to just kind of embrace kind of uh to where my my soil my potting soil wouldn't you know go flooding out and uh there's the heart rock my son found and gave it to my dad In there, I have it in there. I don't know if you can see it. Like I said, the it's really bright. Bad time of day to try to, to yeah, I can't even talk to try to record anything outside. But here we are <laughs> doing it anyway. Um, I do have an announcement. I am going to get back into Mary Kay. I have given it a lot of thought. Um, and. This is some of my my uh, doodads that, that got broke during the storms. And uh, I'm going to uh, repurpose, fix, you know. You know, it's salvageable. This is a, an adult-sized fairy garden out here. And uh, I'm going to repurpose and recycle what I can. And uh, it'll be cute. Bella, what are you doing? What you're doing? Don't roll around in that. You're going to get ticks. Ew. Bugs. <laughs> and I should mention you're very allergic to everything. Look at that dog. Look at her. She'll have to go and get her some um, Benadryl. We're going to have to get you some Benadryl. You don't stop walling around and everything, silly girl. <laughs> this is my life my life <laughs> oh if it wasn't for these puppies i don't know what would i do 
uh, <laughs> I have to entertain myself. <laughs> oh, a mermaid out here, sun gate bathing. Need to get some uh, bird feed. And I need to get this sealed up and cleaned out. Get some, you know, little pebbles or something to go in there. And I'm going to do, uh, obviously, for a bird bath. Um, it used to be, it was, this was give to me, given to me as well. It does not work. It used to have uh, the fountain. And, uh, which I'm sure in its day, it was uh, pretty amazing. Um, I'm not complaining about it at all. I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, so I'm going to try to figure out how I can uh, use it again for an actual bird bath to where it will hold water. I'm not sure. I, I'll have to check it out. It needs cleaned. Absolutely it needs scrubbed out and cleaned for sure. And uh, this one here was a, a fountain as well. If you notice underneath the mermaid's tail there or butt uh, that pvc pipe but that won't be anything you know i can fill in that that space with some maybe some uh pebbles oh god a bug just went in my mouth yuck anyway um and then use it for bird seed i think that'll be cute and then a bird bath and then once the mimosa starts uh doing her thing you know, we'll have us another giant pink bouquet out here in the middle of the yard, which I absolutely, absolutely love. I do have to get that table moved and them chairs moved and get that all cleaned up. And uh, we started trying to clean up around the fire pit a little bit. I have uh, burnt a fire. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm ready to roast some hot dogs or actually some smoked sausages um yeah <laughs> and get some stuff to make some s'mores that sounds yummy delicious to me but uh lulu what are you eating i swear this girl she's she's like a little goat she uh well i was out pulling weeds the other day and then she started pulling weeds with me she wasn't digging but she was literally but she was eating it you know so <laughs> then of course that night you know her tummy wasn't feeling very very good but anyhow all right guys well we walked around a little bit of the yard and brought Lou out and let her explore a little bit and got to chat with you come here baby come here baby got you something on you got it all right, you ready to go in? You go see Loki? You want to go see Loki? Come on. Let's go see your friend. Let's go check on him. Let's go check on him. I have my mimosa tree. Hang on. I'll back up a little bit. I have a mimosa tree uh, kind of braced up. Um, David keeps wanting me to uh, cut my limbs. Um, but... I don't want to <laughs> because whenever it does start blooming out and the honeybees and the uh, hummingbirds, oh my gosh, and butterflies absolutely love this tree and I love all of them <laughs> and so I'll bring my phone out, you know, and right now as it is, you know, uh, I can get really good photos of them and stuff and get get up close and personal with them and I like that but uh, I have three of the branches braced I just have them braced because I don't want them to be too heavy and split you know my tree in half um, after after this uh, after this growth once uh, I mean there might be there will be some branches that's going to need to uh, come off you know what I mean um oh I was zoomed in I'm sorry see that's when the Loki and Lulu episode you know was, <laughs> she got all excited and freaked me out and I was afraid that yeah anyway whew, I didn't want no uh drama <laughs> but uh anyway back to the tree I just don't want it to split in the middle um 
this tree is simply amazing considering that we accidentally pulled it up it was being it was my dad had started this tree for me up at their house and uh dad had been sick and in the hospital and and so we had decided david and i had decided well we'd go up and weed the flower bed and get you know everything looking nice and everything and and we was cleaning up and just about done and david's like well what about this and i was like oh he hates mimosa trees i don't even know what that's in there for and he pulled it and as soon as he pulled it i remember hearing dad say i have you a mimosa tree started up here um, and he pulled it up and broke the roots and I was like, oh geez. So we come down here and there was, um, from a dog that we already had, um, or that we had at the time, he had dug a hole here. So, uh, David put, you know, he, he fixed it, fixed it up and planted that little broken, you know, pretty much a twig of a mimosa tree. And uh, this is what we have. And it is just absolutely massive. I haven't really been up in here a whole lot either yet. <laughs> so, um, but there's like one, two, three, four, five very large pieces grown off of this tree. But I'm standing under it. It's, it's so cool. I cannot wait, cannot wait to share her with you again this year whenever she starts blooming out. But she's kind of naked right now. But I'm I'm excited. I'm excited to see what uh, this summer brings. Oh, I love my tree. I love it outside. I, I like hanging out out here. Um, it's very peaceful, as you can tell, other than my jabbering. I'll hush up for a minute. <laughs> good girl you a good girl and she's indoors all the time other than if I'm uh, out here with her I don't trust that you know she won't you know <laughs> be in the same situation Loki in and plus our, our neighbors on the other side and back behind they, they have cattle and uh, you know dogs around here if they chase your livestock or get after your livestock you know you <laughs> they're you're gonna lose a dog you know and uh it will be your own fault for not keeping your dog where they need to be and uh so this pretty puppy this little lady excuse me ma'am excuse me ma'am bluebell she's not gonna look at me for nothing oh there you are so this little lady she gets to be attached to her mama which is me <laughs> All right, guys, I guess we're going to go ahead and cut this off. I've been talking about absolutely nothing, pure nonsense, just jibber-jabber. Um, I'm going to do another video here in, I don't know, today, if tomorrow, tonight, whenever, here in the next few days. I uh, am going to get my Mary Kay started back up. But once I get my website and my propay and all that good jazz... I will do another video and share all that info with you and um, take a look at a new book. You can look at the new lookbook with me because I haven't seen it yet either. But uh, all right, guys, until that time comes, take care. God bless. And please say a little prayer for our puppy. Oh, my goodness, our Loki boy. All right. And for me, <laughs> give me strength giving knowledge of, of uh, helping him. So far, I'm not doing too bad. But uh, he's fixing to go to the vet. I just don't have a way of getting in there at the moment. And not to mention, it takes a little bit of money. But anyhow. <laughs> uh, as so life, so be it. All right, guys. Peace out.
I love y'all. And bye-bye. Come on, Belle. <laughs> She's standing over there acting like I can't see her. She's such a brat. <laughs> All right, guys. Where'd she go? Where are you? Come on. Come on, pokey puppy. Come on, Bella. Bella, Bella. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.